I like doing that. Too much. What's going on? What's up? You guys here for past the Ox? Yeah, oh man. shit, the crew is here. <laughs> How you doing? Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, what man. You? Yeah. It's the crew right here, son. Let the music speak. Clap it up for yourselves for being here. Let's go. Yeah. Did you guys see um, Boy Wonder's latest interview with Elliot Wilson? Okay, yeah, go check it out. Um, there, there was a part in the interview where Wanda was saying like, um, you know, we all produce, like we make beats by ourselves in the room with headphones. And he was just like, man, that shit is boring though. He's like, I would rather just make music with other people too, because it brings out like a different side of you. And it's just more fun when you're collaborating with people that you want to be around, like your friends. and you guys can bounce ideas off each other. It's just a better feeling, so that's a good thing. Name it a game, same thing. Put it out, you know, drop it with a video and just, if people like it, start gravitating towards it and that's it. But I, that, yeah, that just needs, like the visual has to just really showcase him. As a producer, when you, when you get with an artist that's like more established like that, you know, sometimes you, you kind of get lost in the sauce a little bit and you won't, you don't really, um, you don't really like reap the benefits of producing the song because like they're not shouting you out or you're not on the credits or anything. So a good way to combat that is like, yo, here's this song. I did the beat. You can have it. I just need a verse from you at some point in the future, and then you can create your own synergy. Have them tweet it, promote it, and cross promote and all that stuff. That's what I was gonna say. Since you're an engineer, you can take advantage of the fact that. See, that's tight. So because you're an engineer, like whatever traffic you're getting in, like different artists that come in, you, you, you have like songs on deck so that if there is an artist that you, you know, might want to play it for, you can just hit play. So that's good. Teamwork type shit. Like you're a seasoned rapper. You know what I mean? Like I think that's a good, that's a good strategy. Just find, find some producers that can lock in, create a sound. I would say even like, don't even really focus too much energy on like a project. Just make a bunch of songs and just start putting them out. Song, song, everything, 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 everything. Like there's no more excuses to not have your music everywhere. So off top, SoundCloud, Audio Mac, YouTube upload, um, Amazon, uh, iTunes, Spotify. That's like bare minimum. But like, put it out everywhere, for sure. Put it out for free, put it up for sale. The, I think the name of the game when you're independent is just maximizing the amount of people that hear the song. Even if it's they, even if it's them getting it for free or whatever you want to call it, just do what you can to maximize the amount of listeners and then just start going from there. But I would, I, if I were you guys, man, I would just start putting out one-offs. Like put out some freestyles too. Like download the Bodak Yellow beat and murder it. Like that's what you guys should be doing. Like download the fucking um, uh, the Drake single. Nice for what? Get that beat, tear that shit apart, and put it out. You know what I'm saying? Okay. So what I want you to do now, continue to do it every Monday, but instead of just SoundCloud, put it out on every platform. YouTube especially. If you put this, start putting this stuff out on YouTube, you're gonna kill. You're gonna make, literally, you're gonna make a killing. All I want is 2%. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I just try to provide content and value that you wouldn't necessarily get from Full Sail or like a university or whatever. Just like, that's why I'm always talking about like real life experiences and how certain things happen. Like, how do you get a placement? How do you get this? It's Cause it's really, it's really hard to try to learn that stuff at a school. The thing I would say is the intro is a little long. Yeah. I think you might like lose people. So I would cut the intro in half, like just make a version, cut the intro in half. Uh, and I like what you did with the hook where it was just like that little break. And then you came in like right in the point that I wanted you to come in. So it felt like natural. And it was like the, the song was like moving along pretty well. Uh, it's a good song, man. Like 
Yeah, it's just one of those like insert wrapper here type thing, you know? Yeah. What do you use? Uh, I'm on Logic. Logic? Yeah. 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 Sounded good. Yeah. Atmosphere? Of course, bro. <laughs> I took it back later though. No, so you guys are probably like, what the fuck is he talking about? I was on Twitter and I said, um, I, I just did like a little subtweet. I was like, Omnisphere 2 bells are played out. We've been off that. And then <laughs> so a bunch of people started hitting me and this one dude was like, man, motherfucker, you, you wait for the people, man. You tell us, um, he was like, tell us what bells you use. You whack as fuck. And then, I, and then I replied back, I was like, damn, all this stuff I do for you guys, man. You hate me because I don't tell you what bells I use. <laughs> Shit. And then an hour later, I went back on Twitter and I was like, you know what, the atmosphere bells are dope. I take it back. <laughs> I like R&B because it, it, you can get really musical. You can do really creative things with like texture and stuff. And it sounded like you had a lot of fun with the textures and like that hook just like came in and it was, the hook was impactful, but wasn't over too overbearing for like an R&B vocalist to come in there and like sing on it. I would love that beat. Can you send it to me? Okay, cool. Just so I can listen to it. But um, definitely, yeah, I'm impressed. Really, really dope. This, that's someone's smash record. You guys notice like, yeah, the horns, the horns elevated it even more. It's like every piece that started to come in kind of like contributed to the track and made it better. So by the time you got to that hook, you were just fully satisfied. And then you brought it back down with that second verse. And then when the horns came in and the, that little bass line that you did in there, just so great. So when you, during your process, are you working with musicians or is this all like on your own? In the room, hey, you know, you're a beast. To... VA got the monster, the animals, man. You guys are crazy on the beats. And I, I never knew in a million years that the little drum kits I was putting out would yeah. be like part of part of culture, just part of music culture. So I feel blessed about that, man. Appreciate you, great. Appreciate you guys, man. Stay doing what you guys are doing. Yeah, try to get it. Let's do it. Let's yeah. do it.